Hello, everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Our Duchess was spotted leaving LAX airport on the way to Germany. As we said all along, Meghan was expected to arrive in Dusseldorf on Tuesday, today. She was spotted at an in and out drive through on the Sunday too. With a sense of spontaneity and adventure, the Duchess of Sussex took the wheel of her luxurious Range Rover SUV, accompanied by a friend, as they embarked on a culinary journey to in and out Burger in Goleta, California. There, they indulged in mouthwatering delights, capturing the attention of onlookers. Megan radiated pure joy, her infectious smile lighting up the drive through as employees efficiently catered to her order. It was no secret that in and out held a special place in Megan's heart, as she revealed last year that she and Prince Harry were frequent patrons of the fast food establishment, conveniently situated near their cherished Montecito, California mansion. The Duchess is captured arriving at Lex Airport as she departs for Europe to attend the Invictus Games, while Prince Harry arrives for the third day. Despite landing in London today, Meghan Markle, with a joyful expression, quickly departed the United States last night to reunite with her husband at the Invictus Games in Germany indicating that her stay in Britain will be brief. Accompanied by a single bodyguard, the Duchess of Sussex boarded a plane from Los Angeles to Heathrow, where she was observed having her bags and clothing carried by the security personnel. This marks her first transatlantic journey since her flight to London for the Queen's funeral in September of last year. Her current trip ensures that she will be with Harry to celebrate his 39th birthday on Friday. Upon her arrival at the airport, shortly before 6 p.m. local time, 2 a.m. UK time, Meghan exited the limousine with a beaming smile. She was dressed in ivory Valentino mules, black baggy three-quarter length trousers, a V-necked long sleeve top, and had oversized saline sunglasses perched on her head while also carrying a hat. While tightly gripping a goyard tote bag, Megan observed as her lone bodyguard carried a rucksack and a dark soup carrier, possibly containing one of her dresses. Megan will be swiftly transported from the airport to the luxurious Hyatt Hotel, where Harry awaits her eagerly after several days of being apart. With unwavering support, the Duchess will stand by Harry's side, offering her encouragement and presence to both him and the inspiring athletes throughout the events. As the closing ceremony approaches, anticipation mounts, for it is there that Harry will deliver a momentous speech. In a captivating twist, there is a possibility that the Duchess herself may grace the stage and address the crowd, her words resonating with power, grace, and a profound sense of unity. Together, they will leave an indelible mark on the hearts of all who bear witness to this extraordinary occasion. We can recognize that this is an exciting Invictus Games for everyone, especially for Prince Harry. The Duke showed his excitement as he clapped and cheered along with the noisy crowd. Prince Harry kicking off the Invictus Games in Dusseldorf, Germany. dedication to supporting the global community of injured veterans led him to establish the Invictus Games, an international sporting event that he initiated after participating in the Warrior Games in the United States in 2013, marking its sixth edition. The Games also hold a special significance for the couple, as the 2017 Toronto Games marked their public debut as a couple. When Prince Harry stepped back as a working royal, perhaps the most difficult thing for him was losing his formal military associations. This is a community that he was part of for so long and that he said made him, but he's still clearly determined to continue to represent them in his own way. And joining us this morning for more on Harry and Meghan is LMT channel contributor Ahmed Scobie. Good to have you this morning. This was the couple's the rare trip outside the US since splitting from the royal family. They said previously they couldn't return to the UK because of security issues, yet they did return and they're now visiting Germany. 
what changed. If you look at where the majority of the threats, those harmful, violent threats that come mostly online are from, they're often in the UK. They're a very polarizing couple in Britain. And I've seen there's a lot of security here, so they're definitely safe. Omid Scobie for us. Thanks. Good to have you as always. Disclaimer. Everything in this video, and all of my videos, are my opinions based on detailed research that I perform. That said, I would recommend doing your own research before you make up your mind. Thank you. Rumors have been swirling lately that there's trouble in paradise when it comes to the marriage of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. But a recent video is evidence enough that they're doing just fine, according to one expert. The royal couple has had a few bumps along the road in the summer of 2023, at least when it comes to their professional lives. That includes the high-profile split in June between Spotify and Meghan's Archetypes podcast, which lasted just one season, and Spotify exec Bill Simmons using some not-so-nice language to describe Meghan and Harry. The f***ing grifters. That's the podcast we should have launched with them. And who could forget their run-in with the paparazzi in New York City back in May, which had their harshest critics calling them out for exaggerating the night as nearly catastrophic. But as far as their relationship goes, one expert says that fans of the royal couple can rest easy, knowing that the two are still happy together. Harry and Meghan's relationship remains strong despite rumors, according to body language expert and communication coach Jess Ponce III. Ponce told LMT Channel that you can tell how well things seem to be going between the royal duo if you watch their body language in a recent video. We would like to emphasize that rumors and challenges are not uncommon in high-profile relationships like that of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. While there may be speculation surrounding their marriage, it is important to remember that relationships are complex and subject to ups and downs. It is encouraging to hear that an expert believes their relationship remains strong. In February 2023, Harry and Meghan announced on their Archwell Foundation website that they'd be supporting the creation of the Responsible Technology Youth Power Fund. The fund helps support organizations working toward, quote, shaping the responsible technology movement, including combating cyberbullying. The fund released a video on Vimeo on July 31st about the project, featuring Harry and Meghan on the phone with some of the recipients of the first awards from the fund. Ponce claims that the video is strong evidence that Meghan and Harry's relationship isn't in trouble. The couple is sitting outside on a bench to make the calls together on speakerphone, which is a good sign according to Pons, who told LMT Channel. First and foremost, they are present as a team. They both hold a common purpose by being on the call together. Harry and Meghan are not just sitting side by side. They're facing each other as they're talking. Pons noted that at one point in the video, not only are they angled toward one another for the sake of being heard on the phone, which is being held by Meghan, they are leaning into one another. This indicates comfortability and devotion. So, the rumors of a rift are not evident in their body language, they are strong. We would like to acknowledge the positive impact of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's philanthropic efforts, particularly their support for the Responsible Technology Youth Power Fund. As Harry and Meghan congratulated some of the recipients of the fund, they were also listening intently as the callers talked about the projects that they're involved in that are designed to help make technology, like social media, a safer place for young people. Thank you for doing everything that you do. Our kids especially are incredibly grateful. <laughs> um, they don't know it yet. They don't know it yet. But they but, will. As one caller talked about how they're working to help prevent cyberbullying, Harry and Meghan shared a sweet moment. 
This is amazing. This is exactly why we do what we do. This of that moment of connection between the couple, Ponce said, The timing of the eye contact is not accidental. He comes across as very sincere in his passion for the project, his conversation with the youth, and his commitment. When it comes to them as a couple, he was quite literally commenting on his and Megan's affection and connection. Even if it's in a slick video made for promotional purposes, it's good to see some evidence that the Duke and Duchess are doing well in what is proving to be a challenging year. We would say that the video showcasing Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's engagement with the recipients of the Responsible Technology Youth Power Fund is heartening. Their attentive listening and shared moment during a conversation about combating cyberbullying indicate their commitment to making a positive impact. Despite the challenges they have faced, it is encouraging to see evidence that they are doing well during this demanding year. Stop. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.